Hello, welcome to Friday Night Shooters. I'm your host, Peter. Today, making the Black Sails Blackbeard's Plunder. And I'm really excited about this one because it's Blackbeard, the most notorious pirate of all time. And the fact that Blackbeard has been announced being season three of Black Sails, if you watch the preview, is right at the end. It's a very small snippet of him in there. Just like, you see him? He's gone. But iconically, you know exactly who that guy is. The moment you see him, Blackbeard. Everybody knows Blackbeard. Even if you're not, you don't know too much about pirates, guarantee you heard about Blackbeard. Not many people heard of Flint. Not many people heard of Vane. Even though they are real pirates, everybody heard of Blackbeard. So I'm really excited to see him in season three. I may have to wait till next year. That part kind of sucks. Gives me more reason to go back and watch season one and two. Why not? But this one's actually going to have a lot of smoky notes to it because we're using Vonnebitch Tobacco Vodka. We're also igniting it on fire, which is going to be kind of cool because we're igniting it. Just have to use a little bit of chili later. Why not? But one thing also, when you do like this, the fact that you are dropping it in there, if you let this burn too long, that glass is going to get really hot. And the moment you chug it back, this glass is going to fall back to your face. It'll hit your lips. It'll burn you. So you want to light it, drop it, drink it as quickly as possible. Otherwise, it's going to hurt. And safety above all. Now, to create this cocktail, is very simple. We're using a some Kraken rum, the tobacco vodka. That's actually going to be in there for your shot. And you're also layering it with the 151. And then you're adding some gold rum, because that's his plunder. He destroys with the fire into the Black Sea, using the coke, to... Steal the Riches, the gold rum. I'll show you exactly how this one is made. First thing you want to do is take three quarter ounce of the Kraken. Well, there's three quarter. Then you're taking a half ounce Ivanovich Tobacco Vodka. Ooh, and you can smell that smoky tobacco flavor. It definitely stands out the moment you go and pour that. And then finally, man, that's, that's definitely permeates the room. You want to take a quarter ounce or less, depending, just enough to give it a layer. That's all you're doing. So you're 151. And you want to layer that on top. Now, other than the fact of, well, obviously, it'd just be cool, that's on fire. This is also going to caramelize the sugars in the rum and the vodka. It's going to add a little bit more of a smoky flavor. It's going to take that tobacco notes and just give it, like, a whole different aspect to it. It's going to take that, set that aside. Then you want to take a half ounce of gold rum. And do about eight ounces or so of coke to create your black seas. Get a good cushion. There you go. About eight ounces. And there you have it. The black sails, black beers, plunder. Now it's not done yet, as I said, because that's going to be ignited. That's going to be the fun and interesting part. But as I said, light it, drop it, drink it. You don't want it to sit. It's going to burn otherwise. Right. Ooh. 
pour it down the side a little bit there. Drop it in. Wow. I'll tell you one thing, that tobacco vodka makes this extremely interesting. It has kind of like a, a bit of vanilla notes to it. You're getting that spice from the Kraken rum that's definitely standing out. Because that is already in itself pretty high as far as the proof. Then the 151, as soon as it drops in, it like rises right to the top. So you're getting a hit of the 151. The Coke, it just, that in itself has a bit of a spicy notes to it. It's very carbonated, so it goes down. It kind of amplifies the flavors. But it's very, very spicy as far as that drink goes. And you do get some of the caramelized flavor just from that little bit of burning alcohol on top. Just don't do what I did. Don't pour it down the side and have the fire go there. You have to wait till you can actually have that go out so you can grab the glass to begin with. But you take that, you drop it in, and it's just a really good shot. And it's Blackbeard's Plunder. It's cool, but anytime you're playing with fire in a cocktail, definitely don't be completely trash when you do this. It's guaranteed. If you're trash, you'll burn yourself. You'll get the alcohol in you and just ignite yourself on fire. I see stupid videos of people putting like alcohol in their hands and lighting up thinking, oh, that's cool. Until they burn her in a hospital. Definitely do these type drinks very responsibly. It's not something that you just want to do a lot of. Maybe have, like, say, if you're at a friend's house and they're hosting a party, have the host who is serving the alcohol, not really so much drinking so much alcohol, create this cocktail. You have a lot more steady hands. He'll know he's doing more. And then have him hand it to you and take a drink. But definitely be careful because it is fire. It's going to burn. And you're anytime you deal with alcohol, other stuff can ignite. But I hope you enjoyed this cocktail. And I hope you guys are excited about the fact that Black Bear is going to be in the third season as I am. I can't wait to see it. I'm just It's going to be so long. Just the wait to it is just going to take forever. But it's worth the wait. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to like us on Facebook, Contest Spirit Cocktails. Subscribe to our channel. Submit your cocktails. you find a link below. But as always, drink responsibly.